Now at noon, an Eyewitness News exclusive panic on a local school bus as students jump off while the bus is still moving. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Jim Donovan. Welcome to CBS 3 Eyewitness News at noon, now streaming live on CBSN Philly. And I'm Janelle Burrell. We are getting an exclusive look this noon at the chaos that unfolded on a nightmare school bus ride, and it was all caught on cell phone video. Our Matt Petrillo is at Haverford Middle School, where parents want answers about how things went so wrong. Good afternoon, Matt. Hey, Jim and Janelle, good afternoon to you. You know, the superintendent of the Haverford Township School District sent a letter to parents apologizing for this incident. The letter also says that a mechanical issue on that bus led to that antifreeze leak. Well, take a look at some video shot by reporter Joe Holden's daughter. You can see what appears to be that antifreeze leaking on the floor of the bus near students' backpacks. The superintendent says three students were treated after contact with the antifreeze, so we're now working to figure out just how bad those injuries are. We also obtained cell phone video that shows the bus's rear exit open while the bus was still moving. School officials say a student opened the exit just as the driver was trying to pull over to stop the bus. Fortunately, everyone safely exited the bus after it stopped. There were no injuries from that. Officials also say an additional bus was sent to that location to take the children to school, but some students instead chose to walk the rest of the way to Haverford Middle School, which is more than a mile. Parents were shocked to learn what happened. That's scary. That's terrifying. Like, you think your kids are safe on the bus. Every time you send your kids out in this day and age, you're scared. And again, the superintendent of the Haverford Township School District did apologize to parents in a letter. No word yet if that bus, bus has been fixed. Reporting live in Haverford Township, Matt Petrillo, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Matt, with that exclusive this afternoon.